I did manage to get them free of the cables eventually. Oh really? Did, did you manage eventually? It required me to get a bit hands-on, but I managed to do it. I'm the first one here today. Maeko one- whoa, whoops. I pressed the button one too quick. There doesn't appear to be a rewind button, so we're just plowing forward. <laughs> we must never speak of what happened again. But I didn't even say anything. Quiet! Time for you to get in the pool. I'll be changed in a minute, so wait there. She quickly heads off towards the changing room. I just stand there, counting the bricks in the wall. Huh? There are no bricks in the wall? What are you talking about, Kaede? There's no bricks in the wall, and there's tiles in the pool. Do you mean the tiles? My eyes wander down and I notice something. Maeko left her bag here. Okay. She usually puts her swimsuit in that bag, too. I No, you better not, you dumbass! As I wander into the change room, I call out. Maeko? Maeko? There's no one here. Where did she disappear to? Maeko, you left your bag behind. Ma- It occurs to me that walking into the change room was a terrible idea. Do you, do you think, Ma- Kaede, you're a fucking genius. But too late for that now. The sight in front of me is quite unbelievable. Standing there in a state of undress, Maeko appears to be wearing her signature blue stripes today. As she pulls her shirt off, I slowly watch her chest get squashed? Why is her chest getting squashed? Then gradually break free of the shirt's confines. I'm seeing more stripes than I did before. She simply stands there, her shirt half removed, her skirt slightly re unraveled. There have been few moments in my life as awkward as this. I doubt it, Kaede. As she slowly turns her eyes to look at me, I feel a, shri a shiver of dread go down my spine. Kaede. Yeah, what are you doing, dumbass? I wanted to give you your bag. She looks at it and slowly realizes the problem. Don't tell me. You've been going through my clothes, haven't you? I haven't touched your clothes. I really hate this Sundere trope. There's no way you haven't. Angrily, she takes a step towards me, but realizes that she has other problems. You can see everything! Her bra seems a size too small? Yeah, okay, fair enough. There's barely enough cloth to cover her. Am I really gonna say it? It does not seem to do much to support her, either. As she moves, I cannot help but notice the earthquakes? <laughs> uh, from Monty Python. She's got huge... Trucks of land? <laughs> Just leave the bag over there. Alright, I'll do that. And stop acting like that. This is so embarrassing for me, and you don't even care. But I do care. Her cheeks are so flushed right now. I swear it's making her dizzy. She awkwardly stumbles over to the bag and clutches it protectively to her chest. Rummaging through it, she's desperately searching for her swimsuit. Where is it? What did you do with my swimsuit? I didn't do anything with it. This must have been your plan all along. Yeah, Kaede, if you just left the bag where it was, she would have realized her problem, come out, grabbed it, and then left. What? How on earth does that make any sense, Maeko? <laughs> You, you wanted to see more stripes, didn't you? Well, yes. I can't comment on that. Okay, plead the fifth, Kaede. It's a good idea. That's been your obsession ever since you got here. Uh, sure. After the incident, the swimming lesson continued and ended event un... Uneventfully? That's not how you spell uneventfully? Uneventually. What the fuck? Okay, right, right, right. Take a shot. 
albeit with Maeko forcing me to do even more laps than usual. Hiromi turned up late, but earlier than she usually does. Now we're all headed home together. As we're walking out of the front gate, both seem apprehensive about something. I wanted to know something. How are your studies going? In class, you don't pay attention at all. But don't get the wrong idea, I'm not- I'm, I'm not at Sundere or anything. I barely learned anything while I'm here. Yeah, dumbass. Ma- <laughs> My complete end, end reference towards learning is becoming a serious problem. It's missing an I in there, sir? I won't lie, I haven't been doing that well. Why is that? Can't concentrate? Do you really have that much trouble do study? Yeah, I have that much trouble do study. I just don't really care enough, I guess. Maybe it's time you started caring. You're coming over to my place for a study session. A study session? You just said you weren't doing well, didn't you? And I'm gonna help you. It's fine, really, or I don't think I can say no. Do we say yes and go over to her house? Nah, fuck it, we're apathetic pieces of shit. Don't worry about me, I'll catch up. Now you're just making me worry even more. You're coming over, no ifs or buts. She has that look in her eye. This is... I don't... wait, what? <laughs> what was the point of the choice if I don't get a choice? I don't think this is one of those situations where I can say no. I would take her up on her offer, Kaede. It may not seem like it, but she's a really gifted... She's really a gifted student. What do you mean, it may not seem like it? I'm just teasing. Well, if Hiromi says you're a good student... Well, I'm an okay student, I guess. She's being modest, she's at the top of the class. Though, people tend to overlook that. How, how the hell do they overlook top of the class? Isn't that immediately class president? We've got so many tropes here that if she's the top of the class and good looking, everybody should be all over her. Maeko seems to grow quite grim as Hiromi says that. I'd better say something before this escalates into anything. Every time you've opened your mouth, Kaede, it's been wrong, so keep it shut. Alright, when do you want to do the study session then? As soon as we can. You can't fail now. Exams are coming soon. She's right. You really should be paying attention to your academics. I get told that enough by someone else. Really? Now I have those two telling me that. But they mean well, just like he does. This study session might be fun. It's studying. How the fuck is it going to be fun? Alright, so we'll all study together? I'm afraid I can't. I need to visit someone. Visit who, exactly? My mom. Maeko grabs me by the ear and pulls it towards her. Fiercely, she whispers into it. Back off. That isn't any of your business. This isn't like Maeko. This isn't like when Maeko's usually angry at me. Sometimes the words throw me off. Alright, sorry Hiromi. Maybe we can study together next time. It's okay. There's something happening at home right now. So let's just say things aren't looking too good. Oh, that's not good. Sorry. Don't worry about it. Anyway, enjoy your study session with Maeko. I don't know what I've chosen that I keep winding up with Maeko instead of Hiromi, but I guess that's the way things are. She's obviously forcing a smile. Whatever is happening at home is really upsetting her. See you later, Hiromi. I can see her smile disappear as she turns her back to us. Slowly, she walks away. Look what you've done. Sorry, I didn't mean to. You really have no tact at all. Maeko, you're talking to the... the I walked... Kaede walked into the change room without any sort of... He just, hey, this is the women's change room, uh, here's your bag. He has no tact. You, that, 
If she's being vague about something, it doesn't. It means she doesn't want to talk about it. I know. I feel bad about it. She's obviously hurting at the moment. Mayuko huffs as I say that. Whatever. We'd better get this study session out of the way. After what you did there, you better pay attention to what I'm going to tell you. One plus one equals two. I will. All right, this way. She beckons me to follow her through the the district. <laughs> How do they make the same typo twice? <laughs> The district. <laughs> it's only a short walk before we arrive at her home. She quickly slips through the front door and calls back to me. Come on in. I slowly follow her through her home, leading up to her room. Now are any of these... Is that Super Meat Boy? That looks like Super Meat Boy right in the back. Also kind of looks like Spyro on the left side there. It's about what I'd expect. Most of it is unorganized and messy. I don't see a mess. She's even made her bed. Stuffed dolls adorn the walls and her bed. There are no stuffed dolls on her bed, Kaede. What is it? This room. It's you all over. <laughs> you mean it's cute? Well, yeah, it's cute, but there's more to it than that. Oh, is this whole study session going to be with the Sundere? Fucking hell! She puffs up her cheeks and turns her back to me. Anyway, oh, that's a shot. Oh, shit, I bumped the button. This should be a breeze. Just tell me what you're having trouble with and I'll help with it. I'm having trouble with Hiromi. She isn't blushing and carrying on like usual. She must be feeling fairly confident about this. Let me get comfortable. Uh, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> she begins... What? what? She, be <laughs> she begins to reach down towards her skirt. Uh, Maeko? What are you doing? Is she undressing? Her... Her skirt quickly drops to the ground. I don't say anything, though. I find myself too unsettled to really comment. She undoes the top two buttons of her shirt, letting it hang loosely around her chest. Maiko, what are you doing? She begins walking towards me slowly, then takes a left. <laughs> uh, okay. Pulling a book out of nowhere, she immediately begins scanning through it. This is my book of notes. Let's see what I've recorded about what you're studying. As she lies there, every small movement seems to make the stripes ripple. No, I'm not going to say it. Not even in my head. Too late, Kaede. Too late. This is a terrible situation? Te terrible? Kaede? She just stripped down to her panties, and now she's lying in bed. What, what more do you want? This is the Family Guy joke where it's like Brian's got the airplane lights like, go in, go for the touchdown. What, what's he expecting us to cut to? Uh, I think he wants maybe, I don't know. So, do you have any thoughts on what you might want to do tonight? Oh, I don't know. I can barely concentrate on the material she's reviewing. There's a problem here. What is it? Why are you dressed like that? This is my room, and this is how I get comfortable. If you don't like it, get out. Don't you care? Oh my gosh, Kaede, this hurts. Oh, and checkmate! Checkmate! You've already seen it! What's the point in even trying to hide now? <laughs> I don't know how this works. I don't know why that's a trope. I, that's a trope I don't understand. The whole marrying somebody. She really is being awfully dramatic about this. Are you sure that's the truth? Of course that's the truth. It's not like I want you to see me like this. She lets out a, a loud huff. 
You ask too many questions, Kaede. Start paying attention to the study material. She gets up and leans over my shoulder, holding her book in one hand. Here it is. I knew recording it would come in handy. I can't help but notice as something presses against it. It? It what? Oh, here's what you need to remember for the test. It's important you don't forget, okay? She begins pointing her finger at the page of the textbook, but I don't hear anything she's saying at all. It's happening again, just like in class. But it's somehow different. You're... You're the worst student, Kaede. I'm just too distracted by her to concentrate on the material. It doesn't help that she keeps pressing closer and closer to me. Kaede, you are so ignorant. Could you please stop leaning over my shoulder like that? Like what? She doesn't seem amused. Like that? It's distracting me. What is distracting you? No wonder you're such a bad student. All I'm doing is pointing out what you need to review and you're acting as if I'm distracting you. That's not what's distracting me. Then what? You're... What? She slowly looks down and realizes what the problem is. Yeah, the problem is Kaede. Here I am trying to help you and all you're thinking about... She shoves me out of her room and slams the door in my face. You deserve that, Kaede. You deserve that. Don't come back until you're ready to take this seriously. Wait a second, did we not go back in? As I approach the front of the school, a sense of dread hangs over me. I'm going to have to face my Eiko again sometime after what happened. So you didn't go back? What the fuck is wrong with you, Kaede? Ah! Sure enough, both of them are waiting at the entrance. Hiromi smiles at me, but my Eiko's face just turns red as she pouts. How did the study session go yesterday? All my Eiko does in response is puff up her cheeks. Not well. Oh, what went wrong? A fair statement, Maeko. A very fair statement. All he did was drift off into space thinking about other things. Was it? Yeah, it was Sakura Beach where we had like delusions of space travel. Now we're talking about drifting off into Is Kaede the same weirdo? You were distracting me though. Kaede, you son of a bitch! I was trying to help you. She was... She was trying to help you, Kaede, in so many ways. But you couldn't just accept that. I want to make it clear that I did appreciate... No, you... Fuck you, Kaede. I guess I can forgive you this time. But next time this happens, you won't be so lucky. She points an accusing finger in my face. <sighs> You have to take this as seriously as the swimming club. I don't take that seriously either. If you don't, you'll always fail. Everything you do should be with the utmost dedication. But what? What? Oh my gosh, this is starting to get really hard to get through. What if I don't care about it? What's, what's your problem, Kaede? You should care. If you don't start doing better in school now, it'll affect your future. Yeah, she has a point. If you had trouble with her, maybe you can study with me? Uh... None of these are gonna work, but... It, it might be worth a shot. I don't see why not. Maeko just pouts even more when she hears that. Fine, I didn't want to do any more study sessions anyway. Good. Hiromi just ignores her and focuses on me. Come over this afternoon, then. We'll see if you can concentrate this time. You Now you better not mess it up when you're studying with Hiromi, either. I'll know if you do. I promise that I won't. Kaede, you don't promise shit. Nothing will happen. Bullshit. We'll just study and that will be all that happens. Bullshit. She eyes me closely, probably not wholly convinced. 
She's like, my guy. Actually, no, she doesn't have to worry. Maeko, you don't have to worry. We'll see if that's what happens. That's all we can do, isn't it? Later that afternoon, Hiromi walks me to her home. Come on. She guides me up the stairs and opens the second door to the right. This is my room. It's about what I expected. I don't think a, I think a single thing is out of place with her room. Even the objects on the desk seem to be placed with eerie precision. It feels almost as if I've taken a step into her mind rather than her room. Do you find my room interesting? I think the room suits you. Suits me? What do you mean by that? It's just like you. Calm, orderly. Hmm, I see. She seems to smile at that. I'm not as good a student as Maeko, but I can still help you with it. Why did you have a hard, such a hard time? <laughs> why, why did you have such a hard time with her yesterday? Uh, Kaede probably didn't have a hard time because Kaede is oblivious and probably didn't notice anything. What was distracting you so badly? I don't want to talk about it, but it was something she was doing. <laughs> did she strip down in her room again? How did you know? Oh, she turns red at the thought. She's always done that. I wasn't really expecting her to do it in front of you, though. She said that she was going to do it regardless of who was there. Because that's how she gets comfortable. Right, I see. That would be something she would do. I guess it have, must have put off your concentration. It really did. I'll try not to distract you like that either. I'm sure you won't. Knowing my luck, though, it'll probably happen anyway. Your luck? This sentence reads like it's sarcastic, and it's the greatest thing ever. Any oh, anyway, take a shot. Let's get started. I pull out my textbooks and head over to her desk. So where are you up to? I show her a particular page. Hiromi looks a little surprised. You're still studying this? How far behind your class are you? I don't want to talk about it. I just haven't cared enough to do anything. You said you didn't care about it yesterday as well. Why don't you care? What about this do you hate so much? Because everyone expects me to do well with... Oh, this this hurts. This is starting to get as bad as Beach was. Kaede's kind of a total piece of shit. Isn't that the point of study? People want you to do well with it. Show them how capable you are. That's why I hate it. I don't want to give their opinions any validation. <laughs> Fucking Hiromi, a champion! You're crippling your own future just to spite other people? It's not just petty, Kaede. It's stupid as shit! I don't care if it's petty. Oh my gosh, Kaede, you're, you're a sack of shit. Come on, I know you're better than this. We can catch up, but you're gonna have to let me help you. Maybe we can succeed where things didn't go right with my ego. Alright, I'll give it a try. Thank th why, why is she thanking us? Now then, for this particular passage, she coaches me through most of the material I had to catch up on. While she doesn't seem to be as knowledgeable as Maeko is, she's obviously paid attention in class. I think I'm starting to get it now. Really, after one study session you're catching up? How easy is your homework, Kaede? She nods in approval as I begin to get through the material fairly quickly. See? You can do it. You just need to concentrate. If you put your mind to something, you'll find it's fairly easy to achieve. Oh, anyway, take a shot! <laughs> You keep studying. I need to get out of this uniform. Please don't. I wasn't going to. I'll get changed out of the room, don't worry. As she leaves, it occurs to me that I really... What? It occurs to me that I 
really badly need to answer me. Oh, you gotta take a piss. Okay. In fact, it's so distracting that I begin to lose my concentration. You can't wait two more minutes? Where would the bathroom be in this house? I begin opening do What the fuck is wrong with you, Kaede? You just start opening doors in a stranger's house? It takes me a while, but I finally find it. I step inside and... It seems I've caught Hiromi at the wrong moment. She was getting changed in here. Well, where the fuck else would she be getting changed? Her flowing white hair does little to obscure her form. For a moment, I stop thinking about the impending storm. This is just painful! It can only end badly for me. No shit, Kaede! They look really cute on her, though, all things considering. I'm just gonna start skipping through and skimming through, because Kaede is actually just the worst protagonist. While she normally creeps her cool, she's absolutely shocked. Yeah, you just opened the door. What are you doing? I told you I was getting changed. <laughs> I totally legitimate question. Why did you follow me here? I, I needed to. I wasn't really expecting to... You should have waited until I was done changing. But I didn't know- Kaede, you son of a bitch! You're the worst! I don't want to hear it! Embarrassed, she turns her back on me. Get out! Why- What the fuck is actually wrong with you, Kaede? What is actually wrong with you? I just don't know. I can't comprehend it. No fucking kidding. What is there to comprehend, you idiot? She grabs a towel and wraps it around herself. There, now get out! You need to go study. Right now. She shoves me out of the room and slams the door behind me. Damn it. I was so distracted by seeing Hiromi that I can't... In fact, it's so infuriating. We gotta pause here. I gotta recoup. I gotta re recharge, re reinvigorate. Till next time, guys. Later.